morning. So, okay. Hi there. 9 a.m., first beauty broadcast live in October. Woohoo! Um, I'm going to knock on wood right now, but everything does seem to be moving smoothly on my computer. I actually did some updates. Yes, you know those little annoying updates that pop up? I went ahead and did those. <laughs> Might be making a difference in how everything's working. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll still blame YouTube. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to click this. It's, it's publishing to my subscription feed, and I'm going to get my link out there to still the... Uh, Facebook and Twitter world. And I've got the tweet chat going, which is tweetchat.com slash room slash BB Live. Oops. I want to make that link smaller. Okay, like that. Oh, goodness gracious. I hope you guys have been having a good week so far. It's um, a little dark right now. I mean, it's it's not really dark outside, but it's my lighting's just a little bit uh, not super bright just yet. So hopefully that improves throughout. Um, live now at this link. Okie dokie. I'm gonna put that out on Facebook and Twitter, and that way people can find us there. Booyah! Okay, hello. It says there's nine of nine people here this morning, so welcome to you. I see Kristen here. You know what? Here's a here's a tip from Kristen. She uh, actually puts this in her calendar on her phone, so she never forgets. Isn't that smart? <laughs> I love that. So we got Kristen and Rebecca and Abby. Ooh, they're updating from the bottom up this time. Okay. I liked that way because they were coming in, you know, quickly. So we got that going on. Um, and on the tweet chat, I can see we've got Miss Mariah and Meg. Oh, somebody forgot we're not in the same time zone. Central time zone. <laughs> Yay, hi. Hi from India. Good morning. Got a day off work. Awesome. Good for you. I'm drinking out of the squirrel mug today. Do you ever, like, try to say something witty on Twitter and then you feel like it falls flat? <laughs> like, either nobody got it or nobody wants to acknowledge it? <laughs> I had uh, done an Instagram picture of this, and I said, I'm nuts about my squirrel mug, knowing it was a cheesy joke, of course. <laughs> but it seemed pretty clear that nobody really was enjoying that. It's all good. I've been up and moving for a long time this morning, actually. Hello. Hello, Stacy. Raina's here. Ashley. Good. We got we got a lot of the regulars here. Awesome. And welcome to any new people, too. Um, but I'm kind of... I was a lot more dressed up earlier because I was shooting something for my... Um, uh, for Monmouth College, the homecoming is coming up, and they are doing some special little thing for the President's Gala, and it involves, like, video submissions from people, and I guess I'm, like, introducing it or something, and so I had to go through and do that this morning, and so I, the makeup's very classic right now, <laughs> and I was wearing something different, but... Yay! Hi, everybody! It looks like the comments are going in so quick. Wendy, you missed the last two weeks. You know what? If you missed last week, <laughs> you missed a lot of technical problems. So I'm glad that's not happening now. Yay. Raina says, morning, y'all. Hi. Canada, Toronto, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Carol's at work, but it's quiet, so she's blasting me with no shame. What up, Carol's work? <laughs> love it. I love, I, I think all the work watchers have a special place in my heart. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I know the, the whole squirrel humor. It, it's cheesy, but I found the most fabulous squirrel on Pinterest the other day, by the way. It was like, 
and I think I said, why don't fabulous squirrels like this hang out at my house more? It is like a white, whitish colored squirrel with kind of like auburn little hair. And instead of having just little bitty ears, it had like pointed tufts. And it was laying out all like supermodel style. Like it had its paws stretched out and it was all glamorous looking. It was awesome. Yes, I have a brother. <laughs> He's not uh, into the makeup stuff like maybe my mom and sister are. So he, <laughs> but yes, love my brother. He's in between me and my sister, and his name is Ryan, but his nickname is Feep, <laughs> and he is awesome. He is like a worldwide traveler. He's always going somewhere with his job. So that's awesome. Ashley says, I always try to be funny, but I am rarely actually funny. <laughs> I, I, I get into the same situations. <laughs> Linda's here. Daisy is here. Oh, Ella's out of her surgery. That's awesome. I hadn't heard that yet. I just heard that she had it coming up. But that's great. Oh, no. Mouse her size. <laughs> if you saw my first time tag, I apologize for the random singing. Oh, Gabby's in a lecture, and she's listening to Beauty Broadcast Live. Is the Tweet Chat live? Um, yes, like, I'm kind of going back and forth between the Tweet Chat comments and the um, comments on on YouTube, because in the past, the, U the YouTube comments would come in really, really slowly, so we kind of developed the Tweet Chat as an alternative so people could kind of be more quick with the comments but now at least today for me my comments are coming in like one after the other can you upload a clip of you in the Macy's Day Parade I would pay to see that <laughs> well if you pay to see that I think I'm gonna have to you know <laughs> put it on some kind of you know pay to watch thing then uh, no it uh, it would be on, I'm sure my parents still have it. Well, heck, I got, I think I bought some kind of special um, tape of the performance, but it would definitely be back at mom and dad's house. My mom was telling me she thought I should take some of the clips of my old cheerleading days from those tapes and, like, find the highlights, you know, and put them together on a video for YouTube. I think that would be fun. It would take some time, but I could do it. Oh, Jody here, tardy slip, due to technology ignorance. <laughs> nice. Uh, Maybelline Color Elixirs. No, I haven't, but thank you to those who have been tweeting me pictures of them. So, hi, Miss Brizzy. Got my cat to wake me up in time to come here live. Wow, you've trained your cat to wake you up for Beauty Broadcast Live. That's my kind of cat. Oh, Shraddha's got 10 minutes before she has to leave to go to work to catch a bus. I guess we'll excuse that. <laughs> Thank you for watching, though. Oh, yeah, do you, you probably hear my phone. I got a new phone case, by the way. I got the iPhone, it's the iPhone 5S. And I uh, found this case at Target. I thought it was really cute. Um, I don't know. It's either really cute or it looks like grandma's drapes or something. <laughs> but it was marked down. Like a lot of the phone cases for the iPhone 5s were like 20 25 bucks at Target. But this one was marked down to 12 And I was like, well, that's cute enough for me. Um, and by the way, I feel bare without my rings on. I've been cleaning my rings. Um, you guys know I wear, of course, my ring here and then um, two other rings on this hand, and I'm cleaning them. So they're not with me presently. And then there are some mornings where I, I feel like I've been asked a time or two, like, where's all your rings? On days when randomly in a video you might not see them. And sometimes I come in here and I never wear my rings when I'm actually doing my makeup. You know, I don't like, like, if I get foundation on my hands, I hate the thought of it getting in my rings. <laughs> so I never wear it. And sometimes, like, if I don't, if I haven't run back to my bathroom or something before shooting the video, I don't have it on. So 
No one gets to leave. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's leaving. <laughs> oh, thank you. Lily says Beauty Broadcast Express is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Jamie missed the past two weeks due to work. Almost overslept today, chugging her coffee. You and me both, sister. Oh, Ashley um, got the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. She says it feels so nice. Even made me made her makeup last through dance class. That's great. I love that. And you know, um, this is the one she's talking about. I think we discussed it last week. This primer, and it really has a lot of similarities to this It Cosmetics number no. fifty serum collagen veil. And I'm sure there are ingredients in this, you know, the collagen and all that that are not in this. But just texture-wise and the feel on your face, um, they feel a lot alike. Like I've kind of been using them interchangeably and trying to pay attention to how well my makeup's been lasting. And uh, yeah, pretty similar. But this is really nice. This is very smooth and I like the feel of this one too. So, Primer, primer, primer. Um, Go Kendo on hot... On Hope Look, I have n I'm not familiar with that brand. Uh, Hall of the Disney Villain Collection. I haven't gotten any of those. I've seen them at Walgreens, and I kind of thought, do I need these? How bad? How bad do people want to see these? Or I don't know. Because I just glanced at the colors and I thought these look like a lot of shades I've already kind of got, but. I don't know. If you guys demand it, you know I'll do it. I probably will do a haul video coming up, though. I just have some little random things, um, uh, some random Target things. Um, went to Victoria's Secret recently and got a few little beauty-related, body-related things there. So I could do that. There's a plane flying overhead. Yeah, I've, I've really been having fun with the Beauty Broadcast Express stuff. Um, thank you so much for, you know, checking in there regularly. And it's just fun to put out something new, have a new topic every day. And i um, trying to think of a couple questions I had recently. Um, it was mentioned in the comments section. Somebody said, you know, can you do, what if you went every other with a high-end in a drugstore every day? And... I don't think that's a bad idea, but my issue with shooting some of these is like there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of overlapping happening, you know, because I'm trying to not only make those videos be reviews but also include a demo of some sort. And sometimes I'm not always shooting the demo and the review on the same day. Like if I'm also doing a, a a tutorial on the other channel like it doesn't always work out it, it okay it never has worked out that I've just sat down on the day of done the whole Beauty Broadcast Express video start to finish and then it goes out that day so what I'm getting at here is it's hard to control um, exactly like what's gonna be done on what day you know what I'm saying <laughs> like I've got I've got a rough plan of the kinds of videos I want to post but uh, with with getting the demos and when can I get that one done and oh I want to demonstrate a mascara here but I was doing an eye tutorial already that day so that one's going to have to get pushed back a couple days from when I thought I was going to post <laughs> I'm probably boring you to tears and I'm sorry but it's just going to be a little bit hard to to keep it like that so what I'm going to try to do is just you know keep an eye on it I think in the long run it's probably going to tend to be um, maybe a little more drugstore heavy than high end as overall like once you start to see several weeks worth of videos I think you're gonna notice that but um, I'm gonna try to keep it kind of even because interestingly enough I did a survey not too long ago on my blog um, and this it was pertaining to my blog not my videos I realized that but one of the questions was do you want to see what kind of reviews do you want to see and it was high-end drugstore or both and people answering that they wanted to see both far outweighed people who only wanted to see a high-end or that only wanted to see drugstore which surprised me I thought it was gonna come out mostly drugstore 
then both, then high end. But many, many people want both. So, um, and that's what I want to do too. And I think you've got to continuously, if you're in my position, you've got to be testing out both to know how they compare. What's the dupe? What's a low cost alternative? What's this or that? So. Um, that's the way that's going to be. And then somebody else asked a question, will I have any reviews on things that I really didn't like? And I feel like I've had several reviews on there. Um, I don't think the Fit Me stick was something I'm nuts about. The Avon mascara, um, different things have been kind of not total raves. I realize I recently have had some raves. Today is going to be another thing I really like. <laughs> and uh, Tyler's review that's coming Friday. He's going to do a review every Friday, by the way. You guys ask, and he's up for it. We're calling it hashtag Tie Day Friday. <laughs> um, sorry, I've just been rambling, rambling. Um, Taser takes her, her rings off. Makeup, cooking, exactly. Cleaning, I like to take them off, too. Ooh, holiday collections, yes. Thank you, Linda. Um, new Conair curling thing. It looks interesting. A hundred dollars? Wow, I don't think I've seen anything from Conair that's a hundred bucks like that. No, I haven't seen it. Late slip, thank you. Oh, Tyler comes across cuddly and warm. I'll tell him that. He'll appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like um, it's it's funny because people had said, well, all over the whole years that he's been on, people would be like, he seems shy or he seems uncomfortable or something like that. And um, that's not, you know... Something I've said all along is if you're going to do videos, it takes time to get comfortable on camera. You know? Um, took me time. <laughs> takes everybody time, I think. And if you're just popping into a video once in a blue moon, you know, it's going to take you probably even longer to get comfortable. But I feel like he has kind of gotten to the point where, you know, he gets how it goes. And so, yeah. There's someone named Sergio. Is it Sergio Garcia, the PGA golfer? Doubtful. Mm. Stephanie Neighbors loves loves the holiday stuff. Me too, girlfriend. I, I mean, the holiday collections, I'm already getting a few. Oh my gosh. This is the new palette from the Balm. Um, mega review will and tutorial, I'm sure, will be coming on this. Check it out. It's big. It's big. What can I compare it to for scale? Um, dang, what? I don't have anything. Okay, I've got a Sonia Kashuk palette. Um, I've got a powder compact. Look how big this puppy is. Okay. So here's. it's called Balm Voyage. The, it, the whole concept is travel and holiday. And if this part comes up, check it out. It's as if you are, um, well, look at that. It's as if you are on your passport picture. Isn't this adorable? And it's got, it says, Anita Vacation is the name. And so it's got shadows the size of um, Meat Matt Nude. And they're all numbered like an airplane seat. They kill me. And then you've got three lip and cheeks down here. Second officer, first officer, and captain. And then color combos. So, awesome. I've used it once. Um, need to use it some more. But from what I can tell, I mean, no differences really in the quality of the, of the eyeshadows from other things from the balm that I've used. But it's adorable. So, yeah. It's really, really cute. I love it. So I don't want to go too far on that and, re you know, review it before I've actually having tried it. But, um, yeah, the Balm is on Hope Look right now, by the way. Um, Meet Matt Nude. What else? They have Balm Jovi. They got a Shady Lady palette, which is um, some shades that are in some of the other Shady Ladies, but they've been combined into one new palette, which I went ahead and got because it looked like all kind of nude shades and something that would be 
fun. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, apparently the bomb's being sold at Kohl's. Gosh, I need to go to Kohl's. <laughs> I haven't seen it at mine yet. Um, but what else? They had three blushes. They had Frat Boy, Cabana Boy. Was the other one Down Boy? They're all kind of pinky tone blushes. I haven't used Cabana Boy a lot, but it's a really pretty blush. There's the cuteness happening there. It's kind of plummy pretty. Mm -mm. They have the cutest stuff. Yeah. Oh, Bomb Jovi sold out, Betsy says. I'm t I take it you mean on Hot Look? I know, I know. There, Nadia says, whoever's in charge of the Balm's packaging and naming needs a raise. They are so cheeky. <laughs> and everything is just so, like, there's a sense of humor, you know? Don't you get the sense that, like, it's kind of lighthearted and fun, and I think that's what makeup should be. Yeah. Love the Balm. Yep. Awesome. Kohl's has quite a bit of the balm. Oh, man. Guys, an Ulta is coming to my area in just a couple weeks. I saw... Here's what I did see. Um, when I was at Kohl's, when I got that lip gloss I can't shut up about, <laughs> the big squeeze, um, I did see some box sets of a few like a few little Lorac kits just sitting at the end of one of the makeup areas and that was it but I know I guess more is expected so I'm gonna be looking you know I will Abby says cheeky I like that word it's underutilized <laughs> let's work that in more hashtag cheeky hashtag of the week I need to get better about actually using the hashtag of the week more than just this day <laughs> Hashtag squirrel humor. Oh my gosh. Raina's got an Ulta coming next to Kohl's. <laughs> you can just walk right across. <laughs> this shirt is so freaking comfy. I've worn this in a lot of videos. Um, I think I got it. It's a Forever 21 top, and it comes down kind of long. It's great with leggings, and it's so just blousey and comfy. Nice. Um, oh, yesterday's blog went up a little bit later than anticipated, but it was on the Gloss Daily site. Um, that's the Ladies Home Journal, like, beauty blog. And my posts are on there every other Wednesday. Excuse me. Um, and I, you know, I, I consider that it's a different audience seeing that than who sees maybe all of my other content. So I try to make it like you don't have to have like, what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, I'm trying to make it more straightforward and like something you might see in a magazine or something. That's my point. But this one was on uh, blushes for a rosy fall flush, you know? I love using the deep, rosy blushes this time of year. I think about being outside, at night, at a bonfire, it's a little chilly, and your cheeks get rosy. That's exactly what my inspiration is. Anyone know where to find the L'Oreal La Riche La Mat, um, lipsticks besides Target? That is the only place I've seen them. Only place. I now have one of each. One matte, one regular. Big hugs across the world from Romania, Eastern Europe. Today is a very cold day here, almost zero degrees, warming up with a cup of tea in your video. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Watching Katie's watching in the dorm. Yay. Awesome possum. Um Oh, Wendy, you're in Paducah. You're close to me. I can't believe we're getting Ultas because you're getting one in Paducah and we're getting one over in Carbondale. So, whoop, whoop. So exciting. Cheeky is common in British English. Excellent. Uh, 
ah, I had an issue with the little uh, sticker under here. Don't you hate when you can't quite get that picked off? And then you start washing it, and so then chunks do start to come off. I think I just got to soak the darn thing. Also, I've finished up some candles, and I have to go back and watch a video of Kristen's. Kristen, if you're watching, because um, <laughs> I watched it once when I did, wasn't out of any candles, and now I am. And she shows how to basically repurpose your Bath and Body Works, or I guess any kind of candle, really, like how to get your excess gunk out of there, clean them up, and use them for something different. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be a DIY project. Um, uh, you didn't answer my question. Have you ever visited India? No, I have not. And I'm sorry, I didn't intentionally skip your question. I just start rambling sometimes, and then I miss some stuff. You guys know that, though. Watching it from Denmark. You know, this time of day catches a lot of people in a lot of different places. That's what I've learned. Ooh, Ashley brought me into her bathroom. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's Kathy, not Bob. <laughs> Stila Countless Color Pigments. Ooh, should we talk about those? I used one in a Instagram picture. Um, these are tricky. Somebody said, I said they were tricky to use, and um, someone said, how are they tricky? And it's because when you're trying to get and maybe it's just me being a little bit like control freakish, but when you're trying to get the exact same look on each eye and the colors are overlapping like this, um, yeah, it's kind of tricky. This shade is acoustic, though, and it's really pretty. And what looks like brown is actually like a dark plum and then corally red. And But it's like you can see where I've dug in like one specific tiny spot there just to get that light shade. So... You know, I got that one. I got these when they were on Hope Look. Um, I think they were really marked down. These are practically like drugstore price when I got them. Um, this one's Encore. Encore! This one, okay, these are a little more separated out. See that? They're not quite as, like, splattered across each other as these. So that's like a mauve, a champagne. And is that plum or brown? Kind of a burgundy, actually, in there. Yep. And then the other one, this is the final one. This is called Indie. And this one, um, all the tones are a little bit closer, you know. They're not too terribly different from one another. But, yeah, those are those if you, uh, <laughs> those are those. <laughs> it's so funny, the little phrases we just say, like, why did I say that? I don't know. Um... Do you have the new Anastasia palette? No. Okay, looking at tweet chat. Any advice for redhead with dark brown eyebrows? Can't find the right eyebrow product. I wonder if you if you have dark brown eyebrows. Have you tried um This is nice. This is the thing I recommend a lot because I think you can totally customize the the look you get and it's the Elf Studio brow kit. This is the shade medium, and I mean, I've got dark eyebrows, but this works well because you've got a wax that's kind of dark, sorry. You've got kind of a dark wax there, and that really helps you fill in. And then you can kind of lighten up the look with this um, matte uh, light brown powder. It, it actually works really well, and I do use the little brush that's in there, too, so you don't need to dig up another tool. It's got an angled side and then a little, like, small eyeshadow type side, but that's a, that's a nice little product there. You can use more or less of the wax or more or less of the powder and get it just how you want it. Just an idea. Um, and then Julie says, Brow Wiz in Caramel. I believe that's an Anastasia or Anastasia product. Um, Steel is on Hope Look. Oh, it is. Oh, that was why you asked that question. <laughs> um, Splaw is here. Oh, it's your first time. Oh, good. 
Welcome, welcome. Those Stila ones were taken out of all Sephora's and Ulta stores this summer. I don't know why. Hmm. I wonder if they weren't selling. Because they were major, major marked out when I got them on Hope Look. So, would you ever start your own makeup line? Um, I mean, I think it would be cool, but there's just so much. I feel like to do it right, there's so much knowledge required that I don't have right now. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would want to have a, you know, some kind of amazing partner in that that. I don't know. Like, like you could put a ton of things in front of me, and I'd be able to tell you what I liked and what I maybe wanted to move forward with. But I'd need somebody with a, little, I don't know, a little more maybe business know-how to be in that with me. Three sigma, br choose three sigma brushes. You can't live without which ones. T I have tons of brushes. I'm going to try sigma. Okay, loves to make up. Um, if you check out my blog, if you if you're got a, if you're primarily interested in eye brushes, I did do a blog on the eye brushes I use every day, and so that might be helpful to you. But just all over the face, the Sigma brushes that I like really wouldn't want to be without or have to replace. Um, gosh, I gotta go with this. I gotta go with this, and probably this. Yeah, most unique. Don't have duplicates of except by other Sigma brushes. Um, my F80, love it. I mean, I will switch around to some of the other um, Sigma Kabuki style, you know, these little brushes. I've got five of them in different cuts, and this is always the one I go back to, and I'm like, yes, that's right. <laughs> um, it, it, circular motions. That's what. That's all I have to say. It buffs in circular motions, covers a lot of nice surface area. Once you start moving it around, like, look, if you scrunch it together, you've got a brush that looks like that. When it starts blending out on your face, it takes up a lot more surface area, really gets an even pressure. P80, the baby of this. Same deal, like a little airbrush under the eye for your concealer. Um, and like I said, I don't have other brushes that are like these except the other Sigma ones. And then finally, this one. And it's got the old numbering on it. You guys know what this one is, right? The number is escaping me. It's the one that's pinched a little bit at the top. Crease, turn it, buff it out. Um, what's the name of that one? I've got it on my blog. <laughs> Universal answer for everything. It's on my blog. Um... Your voice is so damn soothing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, Marita is watching first time, doing her hair and makeup. Um, Ashley's thinking of donating her hair, but if I do, my hair will be quite short like a pixie. Does anyone have any thoughts? Has anybody done that? Done, like, the Locks of Love haircut and donated, a like, a ponytail's worth of hair? Um, first beauty broadcast live, Cassie from Scotland. Oh, I, there's so many first timers here. This is great. These can tend to be a little bit on over the all over the place. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, the first time tag went up yesterday. I think I was starting to apologize earlier for the singing I did. Um, but did anybody else love uh, Muppet Family Christmas? Because that rocked. <laughs> Favorite lip tars? Um, I want to say I talked about these in my high-end products worth trying video. Um... A couple of the first ones I got are actually kind of my favorites, and these were from Pup for Christmas. Um, vintage and Trollop, kind of a corally pink and a deep blood. Did I call this crime scene red <laughs> one time? Um, I love these because you can get, with this and this, combining them, you can get such a range of 
hot pink, deep berry, you know, like you mix them and you can get so many great options. And then another one I love is, is uh, Kava Kava, which is like a nude. And you start putting that in with this, you've got your perfect pinky nudes, you start putting it in with this, you've got like lighter rosy red type shades. And not to toot my own horn or anything, but I did create a my own mixing palette uh, out of a depotted. It's sad how proud I am of this thing, but I depotted a Physicians Formula eyeshadow palette. It perfectly fits the little brush that comes with your OCC lip tars, and then you can squirt out some and mix it up. Here's an example of like the kind of bright pink shade you can get when you take these two colors together. And they're so intense on the lips. So that's fun. And you can, you know, put spray a little alcohol in there, wipe it clean, start fresh for the day. And you've got, I mean, it's so handy. I gave one of those. Um, I went and depotted one and gave one to David as well. Um, lip tars, yeah, they can stain. Faux show. Sure. <laughs> um, once the shine, you know, with a lot of them, there is that little bit of shine on your lips. And... Once that comes off, they really do hang in there. I was wondering if you might ever do a meetup in Lexington, Kentucky. After watching all your videos, I kind of feel like we're friends of a sort. Oh, we are friends. <laughs> I totally think we're friends. Um, yeah, Lexington. I, I want to say I went through Lexington on my way to West Virginia last uh, spring. Last spring? Yeah, year before. Um, that's not too far. That's probably about three hours from me or so. That would be fun. It, could you arrange for me to meet the University of Kentucky cheerleading squad too? <laughs> I'm a huge fan. No, um, no, that would be fun. I still think I need a bus. We just start picking up people. We start driving around to your cities get you on the bus, bring your makeup, bring your snacks, bring your drinks, and we just have a party bus going across the country for like two weeks or something. How does that sound? It's my dream. One day, mark my words, that will happen. I promise you. Um, get your patent on the mixing dish. <laughs> no, maybe OCC would like somehow pay me millions, you know, for this idea. We are a big old family here. That is so true. Oh, Rachel's doing online shopping right now. She's browsing QVC. Yay. Oh, E25. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, I was asked specifically about, the, about Sigma brushes and what my favorites from that line were, so that was why they were all Sigma. Nashville, oh, need to go back to Nashville. Gotta go back and do more karaoke. <laughs> Party bus, yep. Yeah. yeah, you guys are all about this concept. How much fun would we have? You just load up a bunch of people, make Tyler drive it, I think it would be such a blast. Oh, yeah, we can blast the Golden Girls theme song. Exactly. <laughs> this is what happens on Beauty Broadcast Live eventually. We just start daydreaming about what we wish would happen. Ah, good coffee. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I was going to talk about face of the day, but I actually, what I did last night, uh, I was shopping my stash. I like to think that I don't even have to basket things up and I'll grab for different things every day, but sometimes you do just need to dig through for a little bit and pull out those things that you have not been using enough of. And so last night I did that, and then I worked a lot of those things into my face of the day for today, so I, it'll be kind of combined when I talk about that. Lori Grenier is on QVC this week. Oh, cool. We might get arrested for disturbing the peace. 
<laughs> then we'll truly be on the run for a reason from the various towns we stop in. <laughs> we could give each other makeovers. Exactly. Like, wouldn't we all just be best friends? Oh, my gosh. Love it. Hashtag BB Party Bus. Yes, it's back again. Allie's here with her tardy pass. Thank you. Ashley says, luckily I'm home alone because I'm always responding to you out loud or laughing. <laughs> I do that too. When I watch people on YouTube, I'll be like, oh yeah. Or what? <laughs> you know, you, you talk back. Ulta Hop. Maybe Ulta could sponsor this party bus. Supply it with all kinds of goodie bags, and then we like stop at various Ultas and and have like um like beauty tailgating or something. Like we we set up shop and you know grill and make margaritas and all that. Okay, you're all down with that. Good. <laughs> have to sign a waiver. <laughs> oh, SP. SP Law 2002 works with the police. She's got us covered. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, let's do let's do some stash shopping. Um, these are the things I pulled out that I want to make sure I use more. A few of them are actually new things that I just kind of set aside, like, ooh, I want to do some looks with those. One is the um, jewel of an eye. I, I always want to say eye of a jewel. That wouldn't make sense, though. Uh, jewel of an eye, and this, as I mentioned on my blog, with some other jewel-toned eye palettes, are there some other suggestions along with this and swatches? Thank you, Kristen. Kristen's the reason why I have this. Thank you. Purple, green, red, brown. Yes, and so I am wearing this today. That was uh, I'm wearing this lightish color and a little bit of the plum. Like I said, I had to do this video thing earlier, so I wanted to keep it kind of light, you know, kind of muted. Um, oh, this is something I want to use some more of in review. This is my Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. Have not used this near enough. And I did put that on. Um, I've got some liquid foundation on too, but I put this on top. But I really want to just do some of this alone or maybe just with some concealer to really gauge, you know, how much coverage it's got. What do you guys think about the ready stuff? I love the ready eyeshadows, but I need to use that foundation some more. Um, a concealer that totally got pushed to the back of the class um, is this Instant Age Rewind, the Dark Circle. No, Dark Spot Corrector with treatment. Just haven't been using it enough. Like, it was underneath a bunch of other stuff. So, yep, that's what that looks like. It's got that little... Um, that was so descriptive. <laughs> um, I got an e.l.f. blush. I got this from Target not long ago, but haven't used it much. It's called Mellow Mauve. I think this was something Miss Crystal Makeup was talking about. Um, doesn't it kind of strike you a little bit like um, Benefits Dallas? So... Oh, we have a biker in a large hat. Um, but not a ton of, like, color payoff on it on my swatch. But I did put it here. And then what's with this little, these little hairs? Oh, I just want to pull it out. <laughs> um, this was an idea from Kristen that I wanted to make sure I used. Uh, color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder Pink Cheek Glow. I think I had something like this long ago, and it was much more chalky. And now, look, these are really colorful. I mean, I hate swatching on here, but really nice and pink. So that's kind of on the apples of my cheek. Cool. Yes, I'm sorry if I'm missing some comments because I'm just going on a little rampage here. Um, this from MAC. I remember I got that. It's called Simmer. Mineralized Blush. I bought it thinking it was an eyeshadow. 
but it is a blush. It comes out looking like this. Berry, rosy. Have you tried the Garnier eye roller stuff? Yes, that's nice. I like that. That actually, the kind that's tinted actually has some coverage in there. Um, I got this out. This is a Laura Mercier Golden Mosaic Shimmer Block. This was in one of those Sephora Favorites kits. Um, and it's kind of like you can use those shades individually or you can swirl them. I used a little bit of that as a highlight. And I mainly used the, the light shade right there. Um, what else? Um, I, I was watching uh, Kristen talk about her lip balms, and so I got out an EOS lip balm. <laughs> um, several of you tweeted me in response to my favorite fall lipsticks and said, hey, um, Ferguson Crest Cabernet from Fergie's Wet n Wild collection is really pretty for fall. So um, I got, I dug this one out. That is a gorgeous shade. And I think I'll put that one on after I get done talking about the rest of this. Um, I have these It Cosmetics lip butters that I bought quite a while ago. And I, I think they're so pretty and mirrored. I keep them up here in this little container. And I forget to pull them out and actually use them. And they're really comfy. I'm wearing this shade in love. Very buttery. These don't stain as much as, I won't say they don't like hang around a little bit, like after the shine's gone, but they're not the stains that, um, that the Vitality lip flushes are. You know, the ones that look more, more shaped like a, um, like a lipstick. These are different. Um, probably less intense on the colors, but it, I got this set and it came with In Love. Darling is, this comes off like a soft rosy color, not super red or anything. And then Pillow is kind of the nude neutral, neutrally shade. Um, did I, was I talking last week about these from Laura Geller, these cream shears? I'm thinking I was wearing these last time. Let me know. I really can't remember. Oh, Nadia says she loves Bare Minerals loose. Hate the ready. Too cakey. But the loose is fab. Um, but did I talk about these? We'll see how up to date the comments are now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but these Laura Geller cream shears, I was kind of comparing them to these. These are very slick from Laura Geller, and I don't know that I love that. Like, they're bordering on a teeny bit greasy. I like them color-wise, and I'll wear them for that, probably. But these from It Cosmetics, these lip butters, um, are a little thicker. They feel more, therefore, they feel a little more moisturizing, you know? And they don't feel like they're going to slide right off. So I kind of like the feel of these better. But um, anyways, maybe I should refresh this page. Ooh, but I don't want to screw it up. Mm. Yeah, let me go ahead and refresh it. Take the risk. See, Because I think the comments kind of got behind. Okay. Okay. And the other thing was the Evercolor Automatic Waterproof Liner in Fierce Forest. A deep, deep green that I dug up in my collection. Very pretty. want to do some more. I want to get in some of those nice olive eye looks. So that does not give you any sense of, of how pretty this is. But it is definitely dark enough to define. You know how some colored liners are kind of like, oh, that's a pretty shade, but it doesn't really give my eye any definition. This is deep enough to define, but colorful enough to tell that it's not black, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's put that stuff back and talk about... Wait, where's I going? Oh, I was going to put this on. This is the Wet n Wild Furry Collection. See how, like, I'm blotting off that It Cosmetics had a little color still stays, but not the staining that uh, the Vitality Lip Flush has. So got that off. This is deep. 
Going to need to get the mirror in here for this. Now the comments froze. Hmm. Yes, Linda, I love those Vitality lip flushes. I mean, I, It Cosmetics is doing a great job with the lip products, I think. Oh, now they're coming in crazy. Um, I ate some of the tissue, sorry. Okay. So this... Whew! Mmm, fierce. Loving it. Thank you for reminding me on Twitter about this awesome shade. Did I get a little outside? I wish I had got my lip brush out to do this. There you go. So pretty. Such a rich shade. Ferguson Crest Cabernet. Fergie Collection. I wish these twisted all the way in. And you also got to put the cap on just so. You got to point it so the notch lines up. But gorge. Um, I did not, um, I have not gotten that Tarte TSV. I was gonna, I kind of like, I really meant to be watching on the day it was being like sold and I didn't, but I mean, I kind of want it. <laughs> oh, yay, thank you. Um, no, it seemed like it had some cool features. Like, I really wanted to try that corrector that's in there, so I may still go after it. I'm not, I'm not ruling it out. But I had just, like, the week prior gotten the Laura Geller kit, so I think I kind of wanted to, you know, tell myself, hey, you don't need to go buy that. <laughs> but I want it. Ooh, Elgin, up near Chicago, folding laundry, listening. Better shadows, Anna says. Lorac or Urban Decay? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Lorac on that. But Urban Decay, if you want more crazy colors. I think they're pretty equal, but, I mean, and I don't think it's often that Urban Decay shadows are hit and miss for me. Like, I feel like they're pretty consistently good, but I feel like Lorac shadows are always consistently good. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dahlia. Yeah, um, somebody was talking about like using using Mac or or not using Mac, um, and I mean, I kind of if I like it, I use it, and I'm not. Part of it might come from me not having like a Mac counter where I live that I can just you know go check out all the time. But I think Mac has some really great products. Um, there have been blushes I've tried that I've loved and different eyeshadows here and there, but um, as far as the line as a whole, yeah, I don't find myself like using that line as much as some other high-end lines or uh, definitely not as much as other drugstore lines. Um, check out Goss Makeup Artist video on the worst foundation ever. It's the Ready Foundation by Bare Minerals. <laughs> well, I think it's very, very uh, subjective. <laughs> <laughs> what things are, you know, best or worst ever for people. You know, like, what's the best for somebody is not going to be the best for everybody. What's the worst for somebody is going to end up being somebody's favorite along the lines. So, but yeah, I probably do need to watch. Oh, gosh, the comments are coming in.
dark circle covers the best and won't shine in pictures. Um, get yourself the Pixie Correction Concentrate and Brightening Peach. Does the same kind of things that Erase Paste does, but it's a slightly thicker, drier formula. Put it on with your fingers, and then top. Make sure you top that off with some sort of setting powder that is absolutely matte with no shine because we do have like with our you know bags and our eyes we do have contours you know things dip down in a little bit more and then they maybe puff out a bit more so that's why I love using things like the the uh, bare minerals bisque and summer bisque really lightly over those areas to mattify and completely um, you know just gets rid of the of the problem area so Sky says, Kristen Game, I'm a taupe lover. Put on the coffee, I'm coming over. <laughs> Gotta love taupe. Wearable. Uh, Nadia says, Mac Satin Taupe Wood Winked and Pro Longwear are quite, quite irreplaceable for me. Oh, the Pro Longwear Concealer from Mac is pretty darn awesome, in my opinion. Oh, Millie! Millie was the one who told me about this lipstick. <laughs> Reminded me about it. Kat Von D eyeshadows. Yeah, I just got the Vice 2 palette. And, I mean, Urban Decay, like, that, that was a hard question on the Urban Decay versus Lorac because... I really think both brands are are pretty good with putting out, you know, awesome shadows, but I mean, this palette has got a lot of of color going on here. This purple, these blues up in here. But it's also got a lot of neutral too. It just appealed to me more than the first Vice palette, and I don't know why that was, but the packaging is gorgeous. Kind of like it looks like petals on there. I'm I'm digging. And Elf Tone Correcting Powder. That's another thing that like it doesn't have it doesn't have shine to it. You know, like you don't want to use something if you're trying to make that area look as perfect as you can. Don't use something shimmery under your eyes. Uh, Wacko's got a taupe couch. <laughs> So not relevant. Hey, <laughs> we're all about all things on here. Stephanie got the uh, Alabama. Oh, the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama. She's loving it. Alex is new. Welcome. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you're having a good time. Hmm. MJ is in the tweet chat. Thank you so much. Tart of Giving Collector Set and Travel Bag Holiday Kit. Um, I don't have... I think that's being sold on Sephora, and I was looking at it, but I don't... I'm not sure. I need to give it, like, another good look, because I don't have that in my possession. <laughs> Custa... Uh, my husband's going to ground me if I buy another palette or eyeliner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's another palette. <laughs> and I am a palette and gift set. This is the worst time of year for me. Worst and best. You know, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, I was trying to read comments, and now they flew by so fast. Um, Abby got the first Vice palette but didn't reach for it much. That's, that's one thing. Sometimes with, for some reason, the neutral palettes, I will keep going for more regularly than palettes with color. Just seems how it is. Like, I'm gonna grab for Naked, Nude Tude, or, um, 
Lorac Pro or Natural at night, you know, more often than I am the colorful ones. But this palette, you know, it seems like, and it's got some good mattes, some good basic mattes, like this shade right down in here. This shade. I need to do a review on it, though, and I've hardly even swatched all those yet, so. Um, and that was another thing I was going to ask you guys, like palette reviews, gift set reviews. Can I do those? Can I do those on the Express channel? Last year I remember doing one big video on holiday kits and I did it on my other channel. I think it was pretty long. But I mean that was nice to organize the products, but at the same time, it's helpful to just focus one thing at a time and here's what I could do. Have my quick reviews, start incorporating some of those palettes and stuff into the Express channel, and then maybe once I've gotten through a lot of those, I could do like a roundup of the best of the best and put that on the main channel. Thoughts? Questions? Concerns? Comments? <laughs> Let's just get on a party bus and not worry about it. Um. Uh, fashion makeup lookbook. That's fun. Do a video in which you do half your face high end and half with their dupes. You do know I I did do one of those. I did the bridal look for less, and I went high end on one side of my face and drugstore on the other. And I did it. It was long ago, not maybe two years ago. So I do need to do that again. Thank you, my dear. Okay. You guys are thinking individual reviews and then like a, a, a full kind of recap. Because I think the comparisons, the position a lot of people are in is you're going to decide between some of them, right? Like you're wanting to know, should I get this one or should I get this one? So I think comparison comparisons like on the other channel and a longer video like that will be important but where's your makeup line? Sky where's your makeup line? <laughs> I'm just I'm just using and being obsessed with what's already out there honey. Um, if you're wearing a red shirt what eyeshadow color? I would go pretty neutral myself. I would go, if I were wearing like a, a classic red shirt, I'm picturing like a, a matte eye, not that you would have to do this, but like cream on the lid, just a little bit of crease color, a winged liner, some full lashes up top, kind of bare on the lower lash line, and I'd go red lip and take on the day. Rule the world. <laughs> Yeah, if I've got anything that needs to that absolutely needs to be longer that I know I'm not going to be able to do in the time frame, I'll put it on the main channel. No problem. Yeah, um what was I going to say? I I'm kind of I've got a couple of sets set type things now. Um Okay, sorry, something just went haywire here. Specific reviews are easy to find on the uh, new channel. That's that's what I'm loving about it. That's one of the things I'm loving the most. Yeah, oh my gosh, can you believe we're almost to the, I mean, we're not there yet, but we're, in the home stretch of the year, really, you know? Start getting into fall and winter and then more Emily Awards. Lori's here! Uh, Kristen suggests for the red shirt, uh, Sony Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette look. Yeah. You could totally get like a really natural, kind of barely there eye. Yay! Yeah, sometimes sometimes I start reading 
and responding as if you can you know what I'm talking about but I just start reacting to the comments <laughs> Uh, for concealer recommendation for medium under eye darkness, like like medium on a scale from not very dark to severely dark or medium skin tone. I'm not sure, but um, really, if you've got a circle to correct, I've got I've got two ideas for you. If you've got something that you're like it's it's dark and it needs to be brightened. Going over your dark, almost bluish toned, or even like grayish toned circles with a skin. What? Either something just got knocked over or somebody just knocked on the door. Um, but if you're going over like those kind of circles with a skin tone concealer, sometimes that doesn't really help. You need to correct the color and I love Erase Paste and I love the Pixie Correction Concentrate because they are peachy, salmony tone concealers that really do attack the problem. And so what's the difference between these two? Ooh, FedEx. Huh. Um, erase Paste is, has more like hydration to it. It's more creamy. It's just got more moisture in there. So if you're really, really dry around your eyes, this would be a good one. But don't overuse it. Like, don't slap on too much because you're like, oh, I'm so dry. I'm going to put on a ton. You know, minimal amounts because, you know, it can kind of visit your creases, if you know what I mean. Um, and then the correction concentrate is a little bit more, um, let me get you in close. It's a little more solid, you know. I've used a big dent out of that. And this, you know, definitely put it on with your, with your finger. Let it melt into the skin. And if you feel like you're very, very oily around the eye area, use something like this. I'm not saying dry skin couldn't use this either, but this is just a little more dry skin friendly. I mean, there will be days where I can just, I'll just take the erase paste, dust a teeny bit of, of Bare Minerals over that summer bisque, and good. Let's chipmunk, says Abby. Yes! <laughs> this is chipmunking if you're new if you're new this is something I do a lot you put your paws up and if it's cute you're probably doing it wrong it should not look attractive particularly <laughs> if you're at work there's a subtle way to do this and get in on the fun scope out your territory anybody looking at me over here Anybody looking over here? Quickly. Done. We are a sisterhood. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we got Finland in the house? Oh, what's up, Finland? Come on, come on, what's up, Finland? Ooh, ooh. That's the official song of Finland. Um... How can you make a dark lipstick look not so scary? Um, well, you can sheer it out, but then again, that's making it not so dark. I think colors you don't normally wear, and then you finally start wearing them, you have to get used to seeing yourself in those shades, you know? Like, you got to get used to seeing yourself in a red lipstick for that not to seem weird, right? Um, but another thing you can do, like, I put on this lipstick, for example, straight from the tube, full color. But if I were to take this with a lip brush or to maybe dab it with my finger, I would still get a pretty deep color, but not as thick, you know? So, sorry, Hoda's on singing, it's I Hoda day. <laughs> She's singing something. <laughs> Come to Mississippi, please. Been through there once. That was a long time ago. What's up, Northern Virginia? Is anybody from West Virginia here? Any mountain mamas in the house? <laughs> uh, 
Dab it on with your finger to make it sheer. Also, you know, maybe you go, you don't go as dark on your eyes when you're doing a dark lip, and that kind of makes the whole face look not so intense. Should I grab the cake? Yeah. Ooh, pimple buster. My suggestion does have benzoyl peroxide, so it's probably not for you then if you're allergic. Um, for me, it's a Persia gel. If anybody else has a suggestion, share that with Miss uh, Liana, and I'll be right back with my cat. She just gave out the cutest little squeak when I picked her up. Hey! Look! You want to look at the screen, perhaps? Here, honey. Oh, look at those pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. Do you show up in the video on Friday? Do you show up in the review? Mm -hmm. Are you in a daze? Vic says, I'm gonna pop some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, awesome. <laughs> Hi, sweet pea. <laughs> Australia in the house. All right. Aussies. Home of Keith Urban. <laughs> Whoa! Yay, cupcake! What's up, Los Angeles? Um, Hel Hel Helsinki? I'm trying to figure out where you're from. Yes, uh, cupcake was adopted from a shelter. Um, I remember we went and we saw the kitty cats and she was in a cage with about four other cats and um, she was like one of a little bit smaller than the other ones and at that time she was more gray like we've got the little picture that was on her papers and stuff that they first had of her um, and she was more gray, you know, like she still had her little patch, her little white patch right here, but now she's got taken on like a little bit more of a caramely color. Um, and uh, yeah, I so glad we did that, and we just love her to pieces. She's so sweet. And in the evening time, like if I'll be sitting on the couch and maybe I've got my laptop nearby, she loves to sit in front of the laptop. I don't know what it is about the light coming from the laptop, like she wants to look at it. And she'll put her little paw right down here on the keyboard, make sure she doesn't tweet anything. Yes, I have been scratched. Because uh, actually the other day when mom and dad were here, um, they were leaving. And so I brought Cupcake out. To <laughs> I brought Cupcake out on the sidewalk, and I was holding her and trying to make her wave goodbye. <laughs> you guys have all done this, right? And she um, actually, her back claws scratched me right here. I've got a little bruising around it. See, I don't know if you can see that, but it's fading away. It looked real ugly earlier this week. I went out on Saturday, and I was like, I need some sleeves. <laughs> this looks bad. But she just had a little freak out because she's not normally outside at all. I don't know why I took her out there, but she saw the car start to move and just couldn't take it. Anyone from Ohio? Emily Grace says, anyone from Ohio? Oh, Jacob the Kitty says, meow, meow. Hi, Jacob. 
Oh, we, Heather's from West Virginia. Heather's the Mountain Mama of the Week. <laughs> oh, awesome. Is it already a quarter after ten? My goodness. I've got some editing, a little editing to do on that project I said I was shooting for my alma mater. Um, so get that, get that edited and sent in. Um, and then I've got to upload, I've got a new tutorial coming tomorrow using this. It's the look I had on in the first time tag, if you want a little preview. And I was actually wearing this look in one of my reviews on the uh, Beauty Broadcast Express channel. So this is the quad called Autumn Dream. So if you want to do that tutorial along with me, you could either get this or you can just round up the shades. You grab one of your big old Coastal Sense palettes and look for these kinds of colors. Good stuff. I was really proud of myself. <laughs> it was a colorful tutorial, and I, I thought it came out nicely. Hong Kong. Toronto. Another Ohio in the house. Spain. My cat Fred watches beauty videos with me. That's cute. I think, I really think animals like the sound of a voice. I think it's comforting. Linda says, my dog loves my laptop, especially watching you, Miss Crystal Makeup, and Kristen, among others. Aw, <laughs> thank you. Do you have any experience with the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream? No from me, but Kristen says, I do. Love it. It's my HG eye cream. There you go. Isn't this great? Uh, Megan says, my son is enjoying watching you. He's homesick from school. He is ignoring Thomas the Train to watch. Ah! <laughs> Poor guy is sick from school. Maybe he'll like my cup. Mr. Squirrel. I feel like this, this squirrel needs a name. We need to name this guy. Everybody's saying where they're from now. Niagara Falls. New Jersey, Montreal, Massachusetts, Denmark, Maryland, Seattle, Vegas. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why Vegas just made me think of this, but um, do you guys ever watch on Spike TV the show called Bar Rescue? It's so fun. From beginning to end, they take, like, a bar that's going down the tubes, and they turn it into something fabulous. It's on Spike TV. They do a lot of episodes on Sundays. Drugstore red lipstick video. Not a bad idea. Southern Minnesota. Jersey. Oklahoma. Tyler should be here. He was here just before we started this today. Um, but I'll tell him you miss him. <laughs> he will be in uh, a video tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, right? He's got a special product this week. He's going to be reviewing one of his, one of the products he has been most attached to and used exclusively for the longest time, probably of his life. Like, such a great, great product. Um, Brazil, Connecticut, El Paso. Isn't there? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso. Um, my everyday look tends to be brown. Not sure what to do to get that to change or what I should try, Sandra says. Um, nothing wrong with good brown. But maybe you start to just edge yourself a little bit out of that by using close shades to brown, but something a little bit different, like bronzy colors, I think are really pretty this time of year, too. Um, there are a lot of pretty brownish burgundy type shades, for example... Um, like this kind of color, you know, like just, just kind of work your way out. Like, and that works for anybody too. You know, what's the shade you're comfortable with? Okay. How can you just like slowly ease your way into using other colors? Like if you always use, um, taupe, I think taupe kind of lends itself to working well with plum. Maybe you work in some plum colors in with that.
Um, Revlon is bringing back. Yeah, Revlon's bringing back some colors. I saw that on um, a blog here recently. Nouveau Cheap. Um, oh, thank you. You're so nice. You guys are so nice to me. Uh, this is so fun every week, isn't it? I mean, people from all around the world sitting, talking about makeup. I'm talking. Maybe you're talking back. Maybe you're doing other things. Maybe you're at work right now. Oh, South Carolina. No, I, I think I feel pretty in the middle of nowhere where I am, too. <laughs> no, it's a great place. I love Southern Illinois. But at the same time, you can kind of feel very, you know, you're not really near a big city at all. Then again, I'm not accustomed to being near a big city ever in my life, so. Yeah. Sandra, somebody's suggesting taupe as well. That's another great, like, neutral that, you know, a little more grayish than, than the brown she might be using. Homecoming makeup tutorial. Mm. Yes. Oh, you know a look I did that I thought would be great for a dance was the um, the get ready with me party. What did I call it? Party not party glam or something. Um, that's an idea for you. But I I probably will do some fun uh, homecoming looks. Maybe I bust out this palette. No, it should probably be drugstore. I wasn't using Urban Decay when I was in high school. I was using CoverGirl and Maybelline and L'Oreal and Wet n Wild wasn't when it wasn't so awesome. <laughs> gift idea for Tyler. Tie tacks, cufflinks, etc. Engraved ones. I remember you asking a gift question for men last year, possibly the year before. Good idea. That's really fun. A little bit personalized. You know, he got a great uh, little personalized gift for being uh, in a wedding recently. And it was, because he keeps it out on the counter all the time. <laughs> it's a little bottle opener. And it says, it's got a little wooden handle. And they got it engraved to say Tyler's Bar. And I think all the guys, like, it had their name on it. And then the date of the wedding. It's cute. Over 50 makeup. I told mom, ooh, that reminds me. I'm going to get mom on doing some guest reviews on the Beauty Broadcast uh, Express channel, just like Tyler is, kind of. So if you got specific products, she's already got a few things she's, I think, working on to be able to talk about. So good uh, reminder there. <clears throat> Halloween looks. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is it bad that I have no desire to do, like, a scary monster Halloween look? Like, I like the glamorous, girly type looks, if it's going to be Halloween. You know what I mean? Anyone? Is there anybody with me like that? Like, I don't have any desire to be, like, a monster. I really don't even want, like, blood dripping looking like it's dripping from me. Spent three days in Schaumburg last week. Oh, you're up near the near the city though, right? Was glad to be yeah, was glad to be back in the middle of nowhere after that. <laughs> awesome. Steel in the light palette. Sandra's loving it. Great palette. Oh, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Aisa. That's very nice. Golf ball personalization tool for Christmas last year. That's what Justine got her husband. That sounds cool. Tyler's all about the golf stuff. My alter ego needs a hot rebel punk like makeup look without going 80s. I'm stumped. <laughs> That sounds fun. Yeah, like I want to be a princess or something for, for Halloween. <laughs> I don't want to be a zombie. <laughs> I 
Ooh, Great Gatsby. Fun. Um, okay, you guys have some good ideas. Um, Meg is going to be Hello Kitty for Halloween, pink pants, red pumps, white tee, red bow, cute, comfy, and understated. How fun. Um, Nadia says, Beauty Brands, that's a store, has $10 high-end mascaras right now, Tarte, Stila, the Balm, Smashbox, etc. Blog on your recommendations would be great. Okay, ten dollar high end mascara. I wonder if I can find online what exactly the mascaras are that they are featuring. Ooh, burgundy color lovers. Okay, yeah, somebody was getting on me about not doing enough color lovers. And burgundy would be a nice shade to start featuring this time of year, would it not? Because I kind of want to keep it seasonal, you know, like in the summer I did coral and turquoise, I did rose gold. Not a lot of people watch the turquoise one. It's so funny, like, what people will watch, like, <laughs> sometimes they think, oh, wow, this series go is going great guns, and then sometimes, eh, not so much. Um, so, yeah, you want to see burgundy. What would some other good, uh, like, colors for a fall color lovers be? I think burgundy would be fun because we could work in maybe, like, some rosy color blushes and lip colors. There would be eye shades that we could use for that. This is this week's schedule. Boop, boop. I'll be waiting for your recommendations. It's probably a little behind here. There's a little bit of lag, but i got to say it's not near as bad as it has been on these comments. Um, hmm. Mantino, Illinois, equals the sticks. Mm, are you central Illinois, maybe? Why am I thinking maybe you're around Peoria? Skincare video. Skincare video. Yeah, I had a skin freak out that I think I I think <laughs> I think I told you guys about maybe last week, and I kind of switched up what I was using periodically. So I'm maybe eventually going to go back to what I was using before, but it's been a little up and down, you know, with the skincare. Come to me, please. Where is me? Flapper, mermaid, Glinda. Oh, Glinda the Good Witch would be fun. Okay, okay, now your plums, yes. You want to see olive, olive green or emerald? Ooh, emerald. Olive. Uh, greens and golds, yeah, jewel tones. Emerald. Forest greens. Gold and dark green. I'm sensing a green thing. Emeralds. <laughs> Bronze, gold, brown. Bronze, yeah. Burnt orange. Burnt. Oh, I can't write. One. Okay. Okay, you guys got me going back on coat. I, I think uh, maybe burgundy might be one of the ones I'm most compelled to do first, and then we work into the plums and emerald and tuning in from Rockford. Awesome. I used to go to Rockford a lot when my sister lived up in that area. H. Parson, Kansas City, Missouri. That's where Kaylee is. Do you watch Kaylee on your on your local news? Near Kankakee. That's, that is Abby Tales. <laughs> Fun fact. People back to back. Somebody said they were from Kansas City and then somebody said they're near Kankakee. One of those is where Kaylee lives now. One of those is her hometown. <laughs> That's funny. Um, red. Okay. You guys are so great. Full of ideas. Plums, purples, emeralds. Plums and greens. Mossy, dark greens. Awesome. Lovely. 
Yeah, I'm so excited for burgundy because there's just so many, you know, lip, eye, cheek things I can think of right now off the top of my head. Um, what else? There always comes a point where I say, what else? Oh, um, so I go on Coastal Scents. I talked about this palette, this Fall Festival palette on my blog, and I think Coastal Scents is out of this now. What up with that? Are they not replenishing different things they're running out of now? I don't know. It's, there's like a wait list to be notified when they get them back, but are they planning to? I don't know. Ooh, Mauve! Mauve. Yes, Mauve. Excellent. Awesome. A couple people just said Mauve. Green and gold always go well together, says Kristen. Hashtag go pack go. <laughs> Typical Kristen. <laughs> I love it. Dallas, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts. Now we're just saying we're... <laughs> I live in Ohio, and if I drive two minutes, I get into West Virginia. Then another two minutes, I'm in Pennsylvania. Tri-state. Dang. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we did We did some face of the day. I actually went through my, I shopped my stash, and a lot of what I was wearing was in here. So, except I don't think I mentioned Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. That might have been one of the only things. Um, on my brows, I did the this Gimme Brow thingy from Benefit. Emily broke coastal scents. <laughs> Is the Sonia Kashuk Jewel Tone palette worth it? I'm heading to Target before work for other things and want to know if I should pick it up. Um, okay. If you like deep colors, you know, I think it is. I would consider, I look at all these colors and think that's wearable, you know? Nothing's incredibly bright, but it's still colorful, very pigmented. Um, I think Sonia Kashuk does an amazing job with these, um, you know, slightly shimmery eyeshadows. But a couple drawbacks about this, and I mentioned this on my blog, you don't have, like, if you just say, I'm traveling for the weekend, I want to toss this in my purse, there's no, like, light highlight shade in here, you know? like a matte cream color, so that would be an additional thing to think about. And of course nothing is matte. So, yeah. I think, I mean, I, I see myself getting a lot of good out of this throughout the whole fall, winter, and frankly any time. I don't think this palette confines itself to any particular season. So, because I look at this row, and don't, or this basically bottom half, and I think Summer right into fall, but any of these things can go anytime. What? Get some emails happening here. <laughs> yeah, I need to use my Coastal Sense palettes way more too, because those hot pots are awesome. Hair care. Um, frequently asked beauty questions video that I did. I talked all about my um, hair care routine. I probably should just do something and title it Hair Care Routine, <laughs> but I did talk about that pretty extensively in that video if you're curious about like shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, styling products, things of that nature. The Balm and Urban Decay are on Hope Look right now. I just wanted everybody to know. That's Amanda. Uh, hey, Amanda, aren't you our Alaska girl? What's the weather like there? Um... In a given month, how much do you spend on makeup, face, body products? I don't even, I don't even, first off, I'm not sure exactly. Second of all, like, if you get into the, the these times where there's a lot of holiday palettes coming out, like, that's going to vary greatly from those months where not a lot new came out except for new drugstore stuff. So, I mean... I'm not quite sure. <laughs> if I could sit down with the pen and paper, I'm sure I could figure it out. But <laughs> it's 
it's you know it is what I do and I love it uh, I am here I'm late as usual but I'm here oh thank you Margaret blue would be nice navy sapphire for the color lovers Ooh, eggs for breakfast. Nice. Favorite perfume? Um, hmm. I continue to use my Rihanna. I, I think it's called Rebel Floor or something like that. That is a really good scent. And that was a scent that Tyler picked out completely on his own for me um, last year. And I really like it. Um... I also like for a lighter scent, Philosophy's Inner Grace. Mm, excuse me. Oh, Lisa's new to the chat and she's in Southern Illinois. That's awesome. Hello. <laughs> Should I just go out on my porch and shout hello to you? Maybe you could hear me from where I am. <laughs> Is it true that it's impossible to date in Alaska? like the new TV show on TLC suggests. Oh, thank you guys. I, I didn't start with this dark lip color, but I put it on later because I was just talking about it. This is uh, Ferguson Crest Cabernet from the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. Have you guys seen that picture of Kim Kardashian that's coming out uh, where she's got on like a real dark lip color there too? Yep. Um, some people are sharing their favorite perfumes. Coach Poppy is on there. I don't experiment with perfumes as much as I do with makeup. It's not even close, you know. Um, but, oh, another one I really like is Victoria's Secret Bombshell, and I did pick up the body spray of that. It's kind of a stronger perfume, so I thought maybe the body spray would be nice to have also. Uh, Custom Animal Art says, ladies, remember to check Amazon for palettes, etc. I find them, I find them they're discounted all the time, even with shipping. Good reminder. <laughs> no, I live in Alaska and am happily married. <laughs> awesome. I was late. What have you guys been talking about? Um, <laughs> everything. Alaska colors. Whoa, who's this guy? Gosh, I, I live on a street where the end is like a cul-de-sac, and anytime I see like an unfamiliar car, I'm always thinking, why are they coming down this? A convertible just went by. Um, okay. DKNY Golden Delicious is my favorite for fall. Oh, I want to. I feel like I've smelled that and loved that scent at one time. I got Tyler the, the Be Delicious, the men's kind. Amanda says, Alaska is chilly, starting to get darker earlier, but all the more reason to enjoy the sun while we still have it. Um, cool. Sorry, I was just reading some other comments and trying to get caught up. What was the website you said something about $10 high-end mascaras? Oh, she said she saw them at, at Beauty Brands, which is a store. And I don't know if they're on the Beauty Brands. I don't know if they're on the Beauty Brands website or not. So check it out. Maybe Google Google Beauty Brands and see Beauty Brands store. Whoop. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> Woohoo. Awesome. Well, it's 1039. Oh, Amanda says, LOL. No, this is our Alaska girl. 
lots of suitable suitors, but the ratio is 10 to 1, guys to girls. So us ladies get the pick of the litter. <laughs> hey, good for you. Shout out to Alaska. <laughs> Oh my gosh. My coffee is cold, but I don't care. Mm. So let me know, guys, what's going on in your life. What do you have happening? What happened last week? Oh, you like the, de the leopard and the dark lips? Thank you. What do you have coming up that you're excited about, nervous about? What's been going on? Wet n Wild just came out with some beautiful jewel tone nail polishes and Amanda found them at Walgreens. Nice. <laughs> So true about Alaska. I kind of want to go to Alaska. Just to see what it's like. Yes, from the Instagram. Here's what the backside looks like. I love this mug. And look, it's like the tail. Aww. When will you be doing a review of Mark Cosmetics? Glad you asked. Um, soon. I've got them all. Like, I know what I think of everything. But um, I just need to shoot the video. <laughs> uh, super busy with, with grad school classes. Sarah's studying for a big medicine exam. Justine bought a new old, a new old house. <laughs> uh, Renaji has a job interview tomorrow. Awesome. Susanna's going for an internship in London, and she's from Portugal. Apple Juice is applying to grad school. Sounds like Alaska is the place to be, says Angel Food Cake. Um, joined a dart league. Like darts? That's fun. Jen's getting ready to go on vacation back home to Ohio. Fall break. Three papers due today, as well as a quiz and an exam. Oh. Oh my gosh, that about makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, happy birthday, Holly. Linda wants to go to Alaska too. So when we get the party bus, which hashtag the week BB party bus, <laughs> Linda will we'll come by and we'll just head north. <laughs> We're going to go to Alaska. Tasia says, my parents are talking about moving to Illinois. Not sure if it'll happen, but we'll see. Cool. Happy birthday, October babies. Applying for universities, says Angie. Very stressful. Uh, Pickles are people, says pumpkin picking and Renaissance Fair this weekend with her boyfriend. Abby's still job hunting. Adam says party. Awesome. Um, Ash is working on applying to VCU and so nervous. Um, heading to Disney World on Saturday. Could use some positive vibes for a safe flight. Yes. Ashley's just been doing schoolwork. Same old, same old. Going to apply for a nursing job in labor delivery and really wants it. Good luck. Oh, Megan's opening her own spa with her friend. That sounds exciting. Carla's going to move to Dubai in one month. Custom Animal Art says, My dream is to go to Alaska also. All the wildlife and cool temperatures just beautiful. Must get out of Florida. <laughs> it's way too hot. I have life drawing at one, a.k.a. drawing naked people. Ha, 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 ha. I remember my sister having to do that because she, of course, was into art in college, too. Oh, Chrissy's ripping off the old roof, putting on a new roof. 
Oh my gosh, they're coming in so fast. This is going to give me a headache. <laughs> Uh, Rebecca has her son's play date to get him into speech therapy through the school district. Oh, thank you. Uh, Ash is finishing up her first novel, sending it out to publication at the end of the month, then applying to VCU. Wow. Oh, thank you. The E back there? <laughs> that, uh, oh, I guess I'm covering up like half of the screen that's been in the shot. I've probably been off-center this whole time because I've had half of my screen covered up. Sorry. Um, that was a Hobby Lobby thing. You can get any letter you want like that. It was just a couple bucks, I think. Oh, thank you so much. It's my, it, it, this is so fun for me. I mean, there is no, I, I mean, I, I love interacting on Twitter and Facebook and, and different things with you guys, but I feel like there's just no closer way to really, you know, aside from being with you in person than to do something like this where we can really go back and forth. So I thank you so much for um, taking your time to do this. I would not miss it, and I know once we get that party bus, it's just going to be, you know, even better. <laughs> uh, Lady Jenna's boyfriend just came home from Africa. He travels a lot for work. We live in Finland. What's up, Finland? So I'm looking forward to spending time with him this weekend. Bring the E closer. Okay. Just a second. Whoa! <laughs> Hashtag stay in your chair. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got a little ribbon on it. And it's that on the back. Yeah, I think it's cute. Put something like that on your wall, your door. You can get like one of yours and one of like your husband or your boyfriend and then put them up somewhere. I like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I One of the biggest, I mean, blessings, I think, I mean, I, I love the thought that I could provide some help to somebody who's going through a really hard time. Like that, <laughs> I mean, makeup tips are great, but to be a companion to someone going through really difficult stuff is above and beyond what I thought I would be able to do doing this. And I don't think people always get that. Um, you tell somebody you got a beauty channel and it's like, oh, nice. Uh, but like, I feel like they're really, you know, it's it, it, there's a connection between us all. And I think it's very important. Detailed video on blending. Um, that's a good idea. Just like call it like how to blend, how to blend eyeshadow. Um, that would be good. And in the meantime, while you're waiting, check out the Kat Von D tutorial that I did. I think I called it Super Blended Eyes with the Kat Von D Ladybird palette. Not that you have to have that palette to do the look, but technique wise, everything was very, very blended in that look, like really, um, really smooth. So that might help you. Oh, Ash is packing now for the party bus. <laughs> Remember, we got to get some sponsors. we got to get somebody to make this bus happen. Uh, this was from Hobby Lobby. They had all the letters. I thought it was just so cute. I got it when I was looking for different stuff for my background in here, and I was thinking, I was thinking of putting this E up on that wall where the mirror is, but it just looked kind of small there. So sometimes... A lot of the time it shows up uh, right there. So, oh, I got the cutest uh, ribbon. Not really ribbon. It's like from Hobby Lobby. It's burlap looking. And it's like this wide. And it's got little leaves on it. And not that I needed one more dang fall decoration. But I really thought I could do something cute with that around with my, my little fall stuff I've got in the entryway. So... I'll have to get that together, show you what it looks like. Um, Blending 101. There's the title. Happy birthday, Chris, says Jenny. 
and me for that matter. <laughs> Oh, Mariah passed her psych exam yesterday. Now to study for the final next week. Please pray that I pass. Will do, honey. Linda says, thank you so much, Emily, everyone who is here. Enjoy meeting you all so much. You have great ideas. I so, I second that. <laughs> you guys give me great video ideas. Give everybody, you know, that's asking questions great ideas. This is so fun. First live broadcast. Well, glad you're here, Ash. Oh, thank you. Uh, wall color is Valspar Satin Finish Paint. The shade is called Berry Berry, and it's from came from Lowe's. Favorite country singer? Got to be Carrie Underwood. I'm a huge Gary Underwood fan. I would love to see her in concert. Um, but there are a lot of country singers I really like. Um, I love, you know what, uh, Tyler and I were talking about this too, like Tim McGraw and Kenny Chesney and stuff, back in the day, like when I was in high school, I had so many like songs that I just loved from them. I don't feel like that happens as much anymore. I still am a fan and all, but I felt like just, you know, some of the songs just really got me then. This uh, came from Forever 21, Little Elephant. It, it does come unhinged, too. Hi Spain. Any holiday palette talk? Yeah, we um we talked about a few things. <laughs> and I think we did decide that I would do some um reviews on the Express channel and then probably do like some kind of big wrap up type comparison video on the other channel. So yeah. Yeah, this is a great uh, people watching from all over the world. Totally crazy. Like because I know I'm I'm familiar with so many of you through talking to you like on on Twitter and seeing your comments on videos, but there's something about having us all here at the same time from all different parts of the world that is even more like hard to hard to fathom. I have to take my six year old daughter to the dentist to get cavities filled. Please send good vibes this way. Good vibes. Did your dentist give you uh, give the kids like little um, treats and stuff? Because that always helped me get through those times. Not like candy treats, but little toys and things. Oh, thank you guys so much for joining me. It has been it is almost eleven o'clock, <laughs> but I appreciate your time and just having so much fun. And I hope you guys have a safe weekend if you're traveling anywhere. Um, please be careful. And have you gotten your eggnog yet? No. <laughs> it's, it's pumpkin spice season. It's not eggnog season yet. No, I, I do like eggnog, though. So I'll see you guys later. I love you. Thank you so much. I'm thinking about you and all your situations you got coming up. And I will see you here next week, unless we choose to make next week a different time. I'll let you know. If it is a different time and we do like a karaoke night or something, I'll... Let you know on Facebook and Twitter. So see you guys later. Bye.